This is a digital copper high range checker from Hannah. I'm Fear, and this is Fear the Reefer. Welcome back to my channel, Fear the Reefer. I'm Fear. Today we're gonna to be talking about Hannah checker, specifically the copper high range checker. This thing is awesome and super easy to use. However, the instructions were a little bit misleading when I first read it. And after a couple trial and errors, I figured out the right way to do it. And because I stumbled with it, maybe you will too. So here's a simple video on how to use the Hanna Copper High Range Checker. When you get the box, there's really not a lot to it. You get a checker, two vials, and a syringe. Here are the instructions. You will also have a few packets. I think you come with five or 10 packets. That's really not a lot. So I highly recommend just getting a ton of these, especially if you're gonna be actually vigilant with your quarantine systems, you're gonna go through these. I test every day. This has 25 tests. So this isn't even for one tank for an entire quarantine of 30 days. So just get them. They're not that expensive, but very important to have. So to check the water, you take your checker, turn it on, and then it'll say C1. Once it says C1, take your vial, and then you're gonna take your syringe, you take 10 milliliters, which is basically the capacity of the syringe. There's also a line on the vial that you fill up to. So you fill it up. There you go. Never put the water that you're testing back into the tank. You don't know what's going to be cross contaminating. If you have extra, just throw it away. Close up the vial, and then here's an important part that I was messing up originally, just with your shirt or the cloth, just wipe off the exterior of the vial so you have no smudges. And then just give it a tap or two to make sure you have no bubbles. You have no bubbles at the top. You put it in, close the top, and then push, push the button once. Now it says C2. That is the next step. Now you're gonna take one of your packets, of your reagent. And here's what I was messing up. It's actually pretty simple once you figure it out. So you get your packet and you'll see that there are these two scissor marks here. This is where you wanna cut. It's counterintuitive, but that's what you wanna do. And in order to make sure you're not gonna lose any powder that's in here, just kind of scrimp it like this, give it a couple flicks. You can kind of feel the powder in there. So just do that so you feel like it's all, most of the way out of the way. And cut along the dotted line. Nice and cut. Now you're gonna just part the top. Kind of make like an open mouth thing. Pinch in the sides so you get a nice trough there. So now I just gently tap the sides because you can see the powder's in there. You wanna make sure you collect it all into one bit. So tap the sides. You take your vial and get as much of this powder into the vial. Bubble does the mixing, invert it many times, do it for like 20 seconds or so. Make sure you have no floating sediment in there, make sure you have no bubbles at the top. Now you put it back in, and here's the step that I kept screwing up. It says C2. You need to press and hold this button for three seconds, and then it's going to start a 45 second countdown. Now we just wait 45 seconds. So here's the results, 0.63 parts per million. It's pretty accurate. This thing is accurate between 0.05 parts per million. So this could be as high as 0.68 parts per million, which would definitely be close to danger levels, or it could be as low as 0.58 parts per million, which would be perfectly fine. So I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of salt water, retest, and then I'll be good to go for what I'm doing. But it's the same process, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well.